dinner as okay. a first date is Tell a us. terrible idea for most guys because right, most the average man can't can't carry a conversation very well. No, I agree. Oh, so right? you're saying the men? You're putting but, this on and the they're men. using they, they'll use di people tend to use dinner as like a placeholder for conversation. Like they they think it'll just like give by them time. Wait, like because explain to me. I'm confused. What do you what, mean? We've got to sit there for like an entree and then a dinner. So that buys me like you know a good hour and a half with you. Yeah. Versus me having to versus us say sitting down for drinks and I have to fill that hour and a half of conversation or coffee where there's right? no there's no where it's entirely upon my personality and my charm to occupy that say hour and a half of time. I got versus you. Versus if we're at dinner, okay, there's stuff going on people around coming, us. People coming, people yeah, coming yeah, in yeah, and interrupting yeah, yeah, us all the time, I right? Got you. Yeah, that's what. I never thought of that. The guys kind of lean on it as a crutch, I think, and I don't think it's a a, a good, smart, smart strategy. For right. your I think it's better. Man. For the, for, for the average guy, yeah, right? I don't and, that and honestly, <laughs> no. like you said, a lot of women can't hold that conversation either. Yeah. It's just as awkward for them. They have to tell me. So it's yeah. like, why would you, I think you're setting yourself up to, for failure. If you know you're not the most gregarious, you're not the most right. you know, you extroverted person yeah. off rip with everybody, yeah. I think you're setting yourself up for failure as a first date doing dinner. I'm, a, I'm an introvert by, like, believe it or not, I'm an introvert. Um, and the girlfriend that I have right now, actually, now I think about it, I like, I retract what I said, because I actually drove an hour north from Miami to Weston, because she lives like yeah, super far. Yeah, Josue, Josue will do whatever it takes. <laughs> Josue is the man, and then, ladies. And then on top of that, picked her up, um, by mistake slapped her in the face the second she walked into the car. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, like that. But it wasn't—it was a mistake because like she's coming in, and then I go like this, right? And, like she, you know, it was one of those oh things. Good start. Yeah, I'm but like to true like, love—that's how it happens. Yeah. <laughs> no, but um, to like put it a little bit down, it's like, hey, look, I'm just nervous. I'm just like, you know, I'm just nervous. It was nice to meet you. That's it's good. nice to meet you. And like, so you like, I think men trying to like all like men up. But in reality, like a man just like a woman just wants a man that's confident in himself and like doesn't care about what you think, yeah. like on that side. And then I took her to dinner and we had a great conversation. But, mm -hmm. but before the dinner, yeah, I was texting. I was. It was you a were great. Engaging. Yeah. It was very engaging yeah. from that perspective. I had a good time there. I'm like, hey, I will have a good time in dinner because of this. I did not just Tinder swipe. Hey, let's meet up. Dinner and relax. Yeah, two different, two totally yeah. different yeah, scenarios. Exactly. Yeah. What's yeah, yeah, the yeah. worst thing you guys hate about um, a woman on a date? Like, what is it oh. that drives you Expectancy. nuts that she does? Like what, what Tanner said. Oh, like, like the I don't mind. No, I don't. So yeah. I don't mind that as much. I, I feel if it's you like, ask I a have girl, ten million dollars. Well, no, so <laughs> yeah, yeah, but no, but if you ask a girl on a date, I think they, you know, to me, it's like okay, I asked you on the date, you came, you're spending time with me. I usually will pay and I won't even talk about money until I'm in a relationship and then I might say, hey, you know, I don't want to do 100 zero because then to me it's hard to know if the girl's there for you. But Wait, in terms define that 100 zero because some people might not know what you're Like 100 percent, like you're paying literally everything. You're like saying everything. you don't want to do 100 percent, that you want them not to in a, Not in a serious relationship because for me, that's my, that's all, I mean for, I think that's my biggest concern is mm -hmm. I make a lot of money so I want to know for sure that you're all about me and not my money yeah. so it's like that to me is proven. I heard so, you say team several times. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah I like so, that. Yeah, yeah, I like that. So, but what do you expect her? What would you not expect? That sounds bad, but no. what would you like? For instance, like your girl, what does she bring to the table? Well, so I mean, first and foremost, she's actually doing something that's attractive to me. I like girls with ambition. What does she do? Can you say? So she has a business. Yeah, she okay. has a business. She she does like business consulting. She's been in the fitness industry. Okay. Um, so I don't care what they do. I just want them to be ambitious. So if you okay. want to build the world's best garden, knock yourself out. I just want to know that they're not sitting at home doing nothing all day. That's not attractive to me. Got it. I don't personally like that. And if they are going to be at home all day, then it's like, you know, I want them to like something, take right? care of the kids if we're yeah. going to have kids. If we if we're not if they're not going to stay at home, I'd rather Put labels not. Labels on all the Yeah, and then stuff. and then and <laughs> so for and then like for example is, you know, I want to provide cuz I feel like that's my job and that's what women want. But if for example, if you want to live in a $20,000 pet house, Okay, we can do that, but then I, what are you going to contribute? Because to me, it starts. It get if it's like a hundred percent, and this may be unpopular, but if it's a hundred percent, where I'm just like, let's say I'm paying twenty thousand a month for a penthouse for rent or something, and they're not contributing anything, they take that for granted mm -hmm. as like, like it sugar just daddies. yeah. So for me, it'd be like, okay, cool. What can you contribute? And maybe the number for her is like a grand or so two grand or so three she grand. she does contribute monetary, not she, just cleaning the house. She does. And housekeeper, right? She does, yeah, yeah. And Or like she just, you know, helps with some groceries or maybe she picks up Uber Eats for that. us. I had a I had a buddy who had a girlfriend who she wouldn't pay for anything. And it's not, and she had, 
She had <laughs> like, like oh yeah, and she had and she had a really good business, and that's fine if that's what you've agreed to. But for me, I want to feel like I'm on a team, and if I just feel like I'm a, a bank, it you know, a piggy bank, it's yeah, not yeah. attractive to me. You don't want to feel like you're being taken advantage so of. Really. Yeah, because because otherwise, I'm like that's what I do when I'm single. Like I can just pay for everything pay for and, right? take, and date everyone. So, so what, what yeah. I'm curious, what are the, what what uh, are there any kind of green flags you're looking for? Because I know what mine are. I'm just curious what you're like. What I are you mean, looking for pro before you say, okay, I'm what you and me are girlfriend and boyfriend now, yeah. and I'm gonna kind of take care of things. Are there sort of green flags that you might see before that would allow? Yeah, you to make I mean, so I, I think first and foremost is I. I mean, it's a fine line because I think most guys. I like girls who are ambitious and are doing something. I think there's a fine line because I mean, this is my opinion. I think a lot of guys go for girls who aren't doing a lot, That's so they true. can have control. Correct. Which yep. is fair, like which is fair because it's true. The more like if they have nothing to bring, nothing to the table, or not a lot, you can impose your will that's a lot correct. but that to me is not very attractive so I, I want a girl who at the end of the day she go okay like tanner's here but i don't need tanner I can because be okay with her. right because then that makes me feel like okay she's actually here for me she's choosing to be here most guys get intimidated by that i actually prefer that mm -hmm. so she has her own business she's uh she has her own business or something she's ambitious she has goals and then it's just usually it's an offer like where I mean, when we started dating, she would cook for me or she would offer stuff and it's, I don't need her to, but I just want to feel like, hey, like, do you want help with that? Or, hey, yeah. can I contribute? Like I don't know, it's just so, it's just the right. offer more than anything. I have a question, like, yeah. so this thousand dollars, so do, like, what do you do with it? Do you just like, do you don't need a thousand bucks? So what do you do? Do you just like put it in a, no, no, so like, so like, an account for her to grow in Bitcoin? What do you no, do? no, so if she, I'm just curious. <laughs> no, no, so if we were like, $1, no, so if we were doing rent or something and, and we're paying the landlord, right? Like she would just contribute that portion and then that's like, okay. I would pay, I would only pay like, let's say 17, she'd pay three. That's just an example. An example. That's just an example. But it, to me, that's important. Some people will disagree with that, but I, I just think, how do you really know that they're actually there for you if I they're do. never contributing? I like that. So I like the, this the way I would answer that, yeah. that last question you said, yeah. is I'm looking for things prior to even me labeling her as girlfriend. Yeah. And, and they're her trying to show her love and affection to me in, in any way she can. So maybe she's, you know, cooking and cleaning around the house. Maybe she just buys me a random little present yeah. out of the blue. Right. Yeah. I right. actually hate getting presents. I yeah. hate I yeah, I'm not his gift can't guy. I can't you. stand yeah. getting things. More like quality time. time. But, but, yeah. It's not your love time. language. But, it's not my love language. Clearly. But, but the fact that she did anything. it, okay, she's willing to spend some of her money, her own money, to like right. give me a present. Okay, that shows signs of commitment and love. Right. Right? Mm -hmm. Or if we, we go for a drive and I'm like, I and I'm like trying to fill up her gas tank for her. Yeah. I'm doing that at a car of my own heart and she's trying to stop me. Yeah. That tells me she's not trying to take advantage of me oh, for yeah. money. I agree. Or right. if she, and, and if I, she I also, covers I also, lunch or something one time. Correct. Yeah, 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 yeah. Card like she'll buy the, like but if we're sitting around at home watching Netflix and she pays the Uber Eats or whatever. Yeah. yeah and the, and like the farther the relationship goes, the more I'm willing to take over 100%. I just think for me, the issues I've always ran into, especially like just Miami or big cities, is you don't know. And so I just basically say, all right, I'm going to find out for sure. I'm not going to guess. I'm going to find out. And yeah. that to me is just a good sign when yep. they're willing right. to contribute because most I, want to, I shouldn't say most, but some women want to have everything handled, and that's I would the main say reason. Mo most. That's yeah. a fair statement. Yeah. 